Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you some interesting topics. So normally, uh, so uh, there is a, 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 a functionality that I want to uh, use over all over the application. For that, we will go and create some oops uh, concepts. That method will uh, do the. Uh, uh, reusability but here uh, I have a different kind of concepts in a MVC uh, so uh, uh, see normally I want to mm, add some drop down uh, radio button so that radio button contains the user role so default you should uh, select the user role but I I, I don't want to um, create my strongly typed radio button every time again and again if I pause the data it should work automatically so for that uh, we can create our own custom editor template so uh, last session uh, I showed you how to create that display for so display for uh, we can customize our own uh, display for template that will give you the good result so the same ways how to customize our editor template so normally you know this HTML dot helper so uh, simply like uh, at the rate HTML dot so editor for template uh, it will give uh, the result according to my data type so here I have a data type called user role. If I uh, add like this, it should generate me the radio button instead of uh, generating me the direct uh, integer uh, uh, text box. Uh, so normal uh, text box. So now if I uh, do, uh, if I run this, this will uh, generate me the default uh, text box. But on the runtime, I want to change uh, this uh, data type uh, be uh, something different. So that that is the topics today I'm going to cover you. So before that, I will show you how now it is uh, what my requirement is. So let me go and uh, just run the application and show you what default now uh, the MAC is providing and what we going to customize here. I just started my application. Let's build and I'll show you that okay a uh, default it's generating me the integer uh, uh, type uh, text box but actually I need here the radio button so uh, see I want to select my user role default and I want to post it somewhere else so that is why I uh, needed such things okay so uh, uh, so a uh, user role I want to post um, with the some data so normally my requirement here is I don't want to select uh, like uh, one two three user role it is not like that so I have some set of uh, uh, records uh, that will uh, helps me uh, uh, to select uh, which role I need to select uh, from the user point of view that is what I going to do now so for that I going to customize this editor for template in a runtime so how to do that yes we have the option so in the view you just to go to the shared folder and create one folder called edit Editor templates so this template going to override our, our existing functionality so let me go and create the new folder that I named as editor template so under the editor template I going to add on CSS HTML view So this uh, uh, I call this uh, radio button list. Yes, this is a perfect name. So let me go and uh, just to generate the razor view inside the uh, editor template. This will uh, going to override my existing functionality. Just watch carefully. If you're not, you just uh, go uh, rewind back and uh, just to see what I'm doing. It's a bit uh, difficult people who are uh, really new to this okay here I, I have already a builded setup of a radio button uh, so what uh, this template uh, helps me that uh, so it will fill my uh, data uh, it loop and uh, it will fill my radio button list so I don't want to write a, a snip of uh, uh, code uh, to build uh, uh, with my data that I just have already built it so that I am copy paste here okay fine so what actually uh, here uh, it's uh, doing is uh, so here uh, it, it is a uh, data type is integer so integer uh, nullable integer 
Fine. Uh, so uh, I inherited the property uh, system dot MVCs because system dot MVCs uh, need uh, to build the radio button, uh, the do the for each loops and uh, to make the uh, collections. So here I have a, a list of uh, data that I going to uh, uh, store in the view data. So this accept the complete list. So this list has. So here I I have generating the UL uh, under the UL LI I'm just looping and every L uh, uh, LI uh, so I'm just building a, a radio button that is what the concepts behind it checked uh, checked class okay checked class really uh, I don't have I need to assign that to okay so uh, carefully watch here what I did so I'm just uh, uh, looping and generating the uh, radio button so uh, here I have a, a list of data in the view data that I am just looping so this template helps me to generate the radio button with the dynamic data so hopes you understand so it's very simple process uh, what I am doing here so I, I just uh, created uh, one editor uh, template folder in a shared folder and I created one uh, view called uh, radio button list under the list I have a set of operation that default it should do kind of so this uh, uh, I am taking the data from the view data here I have a list of collections data that I am looping and I am just uh, 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 generating the radio button list okay fine so next step I uh, go into the text model here uh, uh, you just add on a property called UI hint. So UI hint helps us to uh, just hint that. Please uh, go and refer the radio button list. If it is an editor for go and uh, read the editor template. If it is a display template, it will read the display template. So that is what all uh, on behind that. So here uh, there is a attribute called UI uh, hint. So here uh, uh, just give the name of uh, your editor template. Uh, custom template view name okay that is a uh, radio uh, give the proper name exact name Edi uh, radio button list okay fine so it's done now then uh, go to my uh, view uh, so uh, view what it is asking is default uh, we need to assign the view data but view data is null where we need to fill the view data yes from our view only we should fill the view data okay uh, so uh, yes uh, I'll write some snip of uh, code here so here um, I have a, a list collection here I have a, a different type of usernames called admin project manager user so that I going to just to push it to here new new what is the uh, data it's accepting yes list because view mod uh, it will going to act uh, like a view data list okay pass this uh, view data equal to this list okay so now my view data is uh, got filled yes so now uh, from view is ready so now I need to default uh, pass the model new test model If you want to set the default value, yes, you can set it. So how we can set it? So we can go and see the data. Anything you want to keep uh, default? Mm, yeah, user. So normally we'll uh, just set as a user. Okay. So do default, please select the. Um, okay, user role. Okay. So default user role I I'm setting so uh, now my view is ready everything is ready so let me clear those uh, records so uh, quickly I'll show you before uh, going to show the output so what I did is I just created one edit template under that I created on the radio mm, button list so here I have some set of operation that you can whatever uh, depend on your requirement so I'm just f taking the data from the view data and just looping and uh, uh, creating the radio button and I just went to the model and just uh, said that view a hint if you have the radio button please override 
the existing uh, uh, doing the create generating the text box and uh, make us a uh, uh, integer uh, type of text box to select uh, value instead of that uh, do please do this then uh, in a home controller I need to return the uh, model uh, so why I am returning model because I want to keep the default selection so I just return the model so here in the model the text model mm, I have a, uh, a, a list of uh, data that I am pushing into my editor for because this is the list of view data so I am filling the view data from here so it will uh, take directly so this will find this key uh, list that is a view data key so and it will push the data and it will going to generate me the output so let me go and uh, rebuild the application and we'll see how the things are working fine okay just uh, build my solution again so every my DLL uh, my controller everything it will uh, add up in the DLL we'll see how the uh, things uh, going to work okay my application is uh, built out go to the uh, front end and just to refresh the page okay it is generated my radio button so you are seeing the output it's uh, just overrided and uh, provided me the default selection so if you refresh the page you will see so it's uh, selected me the default user and i have uh, three other data that is uh, i added in my um, code so uh, uh, hopes uh, it's uh, getting the result success so likewise you can go and uh, create your own editor template and uh, you can customize and you can use it uh, wherever you want hopes you understand if you not understand please go through my video one more time it's very simple um, to customize your editor for and the previous session i showed you how to customize your display for as well so uh, please uh, go and watch though that video as well uh, to get benefit of this it's really helpful to more more uh, customizable stuffs uh, that mec is providing hopes uh, you understand thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us i will come back with uh, some good uh, useful video for you guys uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before